One of the most common questions I get as a digital marketing agency owner from our clients is how can they grant us access to create or manage their Facebook ads on their behalf? Hey, it's Nikim, one half of your DigiDuo from Canberra Digital. And today I'll be showing you how to create a Facebook business portfolio and connecting a Facebook page to that portfolio. The business portfolio is the easiest and best way to create or manage your clients' Facebook ads without needing access to their personal account. So the business portfolio is basically a centralized hub of all of their meta assets, which includes, um, amongst other things, Facebook page, uh, Instagram account, the ads account, um, even their meta pixels. But the reality is most clients don't have a Facebook business portfolio. Maybe they haven't ran ads before or they haven't ran ads through the meta business suite side. They've only ran ads through the boosted posts on the Facebook side. So they never really needed to have a Facebook business portfolio. So without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you how to create that Facebook business portfolio and also connecting a page to that portfolio. So first you'll head to facebook.com and make sure you're signed into the profile that has the page that you wanna create that business portfolio out of. So in this instance, I'm in that profile. I've got this page that I wanna create the business portfolio for. So you'll just head to the top right hand corner with the your profile picture on there. You'll click that down arrow and then you'll see that page that you want to create it for. You'll click into that page. Once you're in the page's newsfeed, again, you'll go back to that top right hand corner and then click into the page to get you to the page dashboard. And once you're in the page dashboard, there's a bunch of menu items here on the uh, left hand side. You'll just want to go to the meta business suite. That's where you'll create your Facebook business portfolio. And once you're into the meta business suite side of that Facebook page, you'll go to the top left hand corner and you'll click the down arrow there. And then as you see here, I've got an existing business portfolio and I also have that page that I was working out of. And that page now belongs to my personal account as a business asset underneath my personal account. And in order for your clients to give you as a digital marketing agency, access to manage their Facebook ads without having to give access to their personal account is to create that business portfolio, which you could do so on this button at the very bottom of this, the whole section here. So there's a business portfolio. Click create that business portfolio. It'll take you to this pop-up page. And so you'll just name it uh, My Shop Inc. or whatever your business name is my name in and then I'll put my shop inc.com now I'll create that once that's done it'll take you to another pop-up page where it'll ask you to whether you want to add your business your Facebook page to the business portfolio you just created normally you can tick it and get it over and done with at the start I'll just skip this section because sometimes people have new Facebook pages that they've created and they want to link it to an existing business portfolio or they don't want to add it right away. They want to add it to a different portfolio at a later time. So I'll skip this section so that I could show you how to add it if you have a different Facebook page that you want to add to an existing business portfolio. So I'll skip that section. Now ask whether you want to add any other person to manage that business portfolio. This is usually an employee or a contractor of your company, not really a section where you would add your digital marketing agency. So I'll skip that part too, because there's no employee to this business. And then I'll confirm. And then once the creation of your business portfolio is confirmed, the first page that I'll take you to is this page. This is not really the dashboard of your business portfolio. To get to the main dashboard, you'll have to go back to the top left-hand corner. And here it's My Shop Inc., not actually the My Shop Facebook page of your business. That still belongs to my personal account. And so what we wanna do is move that Facebook page onto the business portfolio so that we can give access to your digital marketing agency to manage your social media and also to manage your Facebook ad through an ad account later on. And I'll show you that once we get to the dashboard of the Facebook business portfolio. So there's a gear icon here that you can click after you click into that business portfolio, click the gear icon, and then it'll bring you to the dashboard of your business portfolio. So this is what your 
Facebook business portfolio dashboard looks like. There's a bunch of things on the left hand side here from your different assets such as pages, ad accounts. You'll also find uh, where you can create your Facebook pixels here. You can add more people and like I said, people is where you add uh, someone who would control it from an employee point of view or from a contractor point of view. But where you want to add your digital marketing agency would be this partner section right here. But even if you add the partners, the digital marketing agency doesn't have any assets that they can control because in this portfolio right now, it's blank. There's no Facebook page linked to it. There's no ads account linked to it. There's no Facebook pixel linked to it. So it's almost like a blank canvas that you can't really control anything out of it. It's, it just exists in its shell. So what we want to do here at, at the start is first and foremost, connect your Facebook page to this Facebook business portfolio. And so I'll, you can come to the page section on the left hand side. You can add an existing Facebook page. Like I mentioned initially, I skipped it because I, once I come in here, I can show you how I can add an existing Facebook page or you can create an entirely new Facebook page. But here we'll add that existing Facebook page, the My Shop sample Facebook page that I had. There's my shop there. Just make sure that it's yours. Um, sometimes certain businesses have the same name, so you got to make sure it's yours. Maybe telling it by the, uh, the profile photo. And then I'll click next. And then it's just asking you whether you want to confirm it and agree to the terms. And then I'll add the page. And then you see here the page automatically becomes a page within the Facebook business portfolio. And you, something to note is that once you transfer a page into a business portfolio, that page will automatically be unlinked from your personal account here. So if I refresh this page, page has been refreshed, you'll see that that personal account has been disconnected. It no longer owns the Facebook page or a business asset because the Facebook page is part of a business asset. And so now it's part of this My Shop Inc a new business portfolio that we just created. And with that Facebook page now linked, you can actually go back to the partner section here that I mentioned before. That is where you would add your digital marketing agency to instead of as a person, because that would be more of an employee basis, you'll add them as a partner. So you'll go in here and you'll give access to your assets to a partner, which in this case would be the Facebook business portfolio of your digital marketing agency. And the way to do that is you'll go here and then the digital marketing agency owner will have to add the business ID, portfolio ID to this area. So they can find that ID here on the top left-hand corner. Once you have that business portfolio ID, you can go back into the partner section, give partner access to any assets you want, whether it be that Facebook page that we recently created, or a pixel uh, code in order to track leads or an ads account in order to manage Facebook ads. And they'll ask what assets you want to give them and the level of permission you want the digital marketing agency to have on each of the assets. So now once you've gotten this Facebook page added, now this business portfolio is no longer just a shell and it actually has an asset in it which you can dedicate to the digital marketing agency in order for them to manage your Facebook page. So that's where you add that each of the asset. So another asset that I'll mention here that is key to allowing the digital marketing agency to create ads out of your business portfolio is the ads account section here. Now the ads account is another asset in your business portfolio in addition to some of the things that we've talked about like pages and pixels and in order to create an ad account you just come to the left hand corner here under accounts you go to ad accounts you can click the add button here and then create a new ad account and when you click on to there it'll just ask what the name you want for that associating ad account and then just a time zone um, let me walk you through this real quick so it could be my shop ad account Time zone, I'll just choose the first available here. Click next. Um, it could be used for uh, this business because you're, you're not really a digital marketing agency now. We're talking in the perspective of a business that wants a digital marketing agency to manage their ad account. So in this sense, you'll have to click into uh, for my business and agree. Now, once that ad account is generated, you can come back to the partner section 
and you'll see a line item here that has the part the business portfolio of the digital marketing agency that you've given access to and you can go back in there and give them access to that ad, ad account in order for them to manage your ads out of here so they can come into here they can open the ads manager and then you can give them access that way and then they'll be able to manage your ads so i hope you found some value in that tutorial if you have any questions feel free to drop it down in the comment section below and if you found it helpful please like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye, -bye.